Hi everyone, I'm Anasika and I am going to be showing you around my craft room. I'm showing you how I set up my things and will most frequently use tools and of course how I store my Graphic 45 goodies. Now all the furniture I have in my room are from IKEA so if you're interested in any of this just go to the IKEA website and you will find all you need. Um, then I have a little bits and clear bins and stuff and I'll tell you where I get all that stuff so you can have a look if you find it interesting. So let's get into the uh, well tour I guess. So this is the view into my room. It's not a big one but it is quite enough for me. Okay I always want more but this is quite sufficient, really. So here is my desk area. And then I have this turnabout that holds my most used tools. And this pegboard has also the most, well, often used items. Along with some pop figures that I do love. And like I guess I have tools adhesive and all that stuff and then I have this little ring light for added light especially when I do videos then here in the window area I have all my die cutting well machine stuff trimmers and all kinds of little bits And then I go behind my desk, I have this uh, Calyx unit, which houses lots of 12 by 12 papers, small tools, moulds, uh, watercolours and stuff like that, and alterable items. And on top I have many little things as in uh, pocket pages, and I have ribbons, and my Copics and some tools that I use quite often, paper pads, and of course I have my Graphic 45 stickers and chipboards there. And then I have another pack board which houses all my, my sprays and little trinkets and bits and drops and such. And then here next to it, I have some smaller shelves from Scrapple.com that house little bits, uh, leftovers and uh, ink cubes. My ruler decks. And then I have drawers with lots of goodies and stuff I use regularly. And then next to that I have a very large unit where I house uh, machines, finished objects and these three boxes are full of cards. And then I have this unit where I have uh, a smaller paper, specialty papers and stuff like that. And several finished objects such as this Graphic 45 album. And next to that, I have my distress inks, or the oxide inks, sorry. And then some binders for my stencils, ink blending, and then photos and memory keeping. And then I have stamps. And the clear bins are from uh, the Home Edit. And the white one in the middle is from Scrapple.com. And then I have loads more and here I house all my Graphic 45 stamps. And then I have larger stamps here and here I have all my dies. And the Graphic 45 dies are here at the front. So it's an easy reach, I really like these boxes, really handy to move around. 
Then I have these small boxes, oh, both the white ones and the green ones are from IKEA, where I hold different kinds of things. And this house is my microflake collection. And such a, this is basically stuff that I use off and on, not as much really. Then I have more stamps. And then I have my colouring pencils. And here below I have my 12 by 12 papers. This is cardstock album. And then I have some everyday stuff, filing gadgets and stuff, normal family stuff. <laughs> then I have drawers at the bottom. And these house all kinds of bits and pieces that the whole family uses. Now this top drawer holds all my flower collections, all kinds of flowers that I've collected throughout the years. And under my desk area I have two large drawers. And I'm going to show you how I organise my graphic 45 bits. So these drawers are on wheels so I can just pull them out if I need to, which is really handy. And I have two drawers designated for my Graphic 45 goodies. So in this drawer, I have all the flowers. And I keep them in the uh, bags because, well, then I know what I have. And I can easily flick through these and always make sure that I, I can uh, add the correct name of the flower package to the links on my blog. And then let's get to the other drawer. Now here I have even more bits. Now well, I like to keep things organized as much as I can. So I got these uh, uh, white bins from Ikea and these I got from my local supermarket. So I have tags in this one. I have every size of tag in this one except for the uh, uh, slim ones because well they don't fit and I have more of those so I keep them in separate So the regular tags are in here and I can just take this out if I need to use it was really handy and then I have another drawer with uh, The die cut uh, flowers and I keep this one there because it is really bulky and I have to make sure I have space <laughs> Put this here and then I have this larger one, it holds my pearls. And I'm running low, I need more. <laughs> and I have all the uh, metal trinkety bits here and the slim tags behind them, because they really do fit all together. And as always, I can just take a box out that I need. And then behind them, I have these two. And here I have the smaller uh, metal bits and I've been using graphic, for, graphic 45 for quite some time so I have a lot of stuff and oh, I can't wait to use these so I have things that are no longer available such as this large doorknob thing I absolutely love this I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it but I do love it if you have ultra graphic 45 metal goodies, don't throw them away, keep them. They are treasures, people. Put them on here. And then, well, I have even more tags. <laughs> I do love these tags. So I have even more extra storage. And then I have another large one here. And this holds all the uh, die cuts, die cuts and the uh, journaling uh, bits. I really, really like having it in these boxes. It just makes it so easy to find the stuff that I actually need. So here I have my 12 by 12 uh, storage and these papers are kept in these uh, white uh, folder thingies that I got from uh, Scrapple.com and I, they're supposed to be 
This is supposed to be the top, but I keep them on the side so I can easily grab what I need. So, so I can just grab the stuff that I want. And I have my Graphic 45 collection all here together. That's an easy reach. Plenty to decorate. And then here at the bottom, I have even older stuff. I don't use as regularly, but I keep it. And I have more Graphic 45. Just can't seem to part with it. Too pretty. And then I have this one. Uh, here is where I keep my 8x8 eight eight papers. I want a better storage for it, but this will do for now. But here is where I keep my 8x8 eight eight packages. Like I said, I need a better storage, but this will do for now. And then, as I mentioned before, this is where I keep my uh, Graphic 45 stickers and chipboard sheets. And this unit itself is from scrapbook.com. Here I have some bits at the front, but here I have all my Graphic 45. So I keep these chipboards and then along with the stickers. And I keep them by collection, so I always know where things are at. And I really like it that they, uh, the chipboard comes in the plastic. At least the ones that are not in the deluxe collection. Because then I just use a craft knife. Let me put this here. All I do is I use a craft knife. And I cut around and I pick up the piece that I want to use and then all the rest is still stuck in the plastic so it won't fall out. So I like that. That's really handy. And then I just have to put this in the correct spot with the uh, correct stickers. And as you can see, this holds a lot and there's plenty of space left. Love that. And yes, I have lots of pretty stickers. Love it. So I hope that gave you a few ideas how to store your Graphic 45 goodies. Or any other craft goodies. And oh, I forgot to show you. Oh my goodness. So I've got you on my desk. All the things they use often. And I have all the Graphic 45 inks on this roller because I'm using them a lot lately. Great to have them right next to me. And these inks are absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love them. Beautiful inks. So they're always here next to me. Easy reach. And then, of course, they have the beautiful glitter washies. Love this. And then when I am actually crafting, I like to fussy cut a bit more than I need. So I keep the bits that I've recently cut in this little box. So if I have an idea, I have pretty die cuts at an easy reach and ready when I have an idea. Thanks so much for watching and uh, having a Lexi around my room. I hope you enjoyed this a bit and well I'll see you next time. Bye.